This tutorial is for fourth grade, module one, lesson 13. In this lesson, we're going to use the standard algorithm to find the difference in subtraction problems. To start with, I'm going to model the subtraction on the place value chart to help us make sense of the way we would regroup or decompose numbers in order to do subtraction when necessary. The first problem is 725 minus 502. I have the number 725 shown in the place value chart with the disks in the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. I need to subtract 502. I'm going to start by subtracting my two ones, and to show that I'm just going to cross off two of the ones, and that leaves me with three ones. If I move to my tens place, I have two minus zero, which means I'm not going to cross anything off, so I still have two in my tens place. In the hundreds place, I have seven minus five, so I'm going to cross off five of the disks, which shows me that I have two hundreds left. That means 725 minus 502 equals 223. Now let's look at question B. Again, I'm starting with 725 on the place value chart. Starting in my ones column, I'm going to subtract two. So I'll cross two of those off. Five minus two is three. In my tens column, I have two disks and I'm supposed to subtract four disks. Well, I don't have enough to subtract. So that means I'm going to take one of my hundreds disks and decompose it into 10 tens. So let me do that first. So I'm going to take this disk that I'm crossing off and show it as 10 tens. 10 tens is the same as 100. Now let's show what we did there on the original problem. We took one of our hundreds and changed it into 10 tens. Now we have 12 tens in our tens place, but we only have six in the hundreds place. By doing that decomposing, I now have enough tens to subtract four. So I'm going to cross off four of my tens. And that leaves me with eight tens. Moving on to my hundreds place, I have six hundreds now, and I'm going to subtract three. So I cross off three of those, and that leaves me with three hundreds. So 725 minus 342 is 383. And you can see the decomposing that was required in order to be able to do that subtraction. Moving on to question C, we have 625 minus 417. The 625 is shown down below on the place value chart. Starting in my ones place, I have five in the ones place, but I need to subtract seven. That means I'm going to take one of my tens and decompose it into 10 ones. So I'm going to take this 10, move it over, and decompose it into 10 ones. And we'll show that up in the original problem. I took one of my tens and decomposed it into 10 ones, combined it with the five that were already there, and that gave me 15 ones. Now I only have one in my tens place. This will allow me to do the subtraction. 15 minus 7 means I'm going to cross off 7 of my 1s, which leaves 8 1s. Moving on to my 10s place, I have 1 minus 1, so I'll cross off that remaining 10, which leaves me with 0 10s. In my 100s place, I have 6 minus 4, so I'll cross off 4 of my hundreds, that leaves me with two, and that means my final answer is 208. Now we're going to think about that process as we perform the subtraction without the use of a place value chart. In question A, I have 845 minus 422. Starting in my ones place, I have five minus two, which is three. In my tens place, I have four minus two, which is two. And in my hundreds place, eight minus four, which is four, for a final answer of 423. In question B, starting in my ones place, I have five minus two, which is three. 
In the tens place, I have two. I'm supposed to take away four, so I don't have enough tens to do that subtraction. That means I'm going to take one of my hundreds, which leaves me with seven hundreds. I'll decompose that into ten tens and combine it with the two tens I already have. Now I can do the subtraction. 12 minus 4 is 8, and 7 minus 5 is 2, for a final answer of 283. And in question C, I have 925 minus 717. In my ones place, I have 5. I need to subtract 7. So I need to get some more ones over there so I can perform that subtraction. I'm going to take one of my tens and decompose it into 10 ones. That means I'll have one 10 left. When I decompose the other 10 into 10 ones and combine it with the five that were already there, I have 15 ones. 15 minus seven equals eight. In my tens column, one minus one is zero. And in my hundreds column, nine minus seven is two. So I have a final answer of 208. So that's an example of using the standard algorithm for subtraction without the use of that place value chart. In section three, we're going to perform subtraction where we have to subtract across zeros, which can be kind of tricky for students. We're going to use a strategy called same change subtraction. This is a strategy that the children learned in second grade. For example, in second grade, they learned that if they had a problem like 67 minus 28, they could use same change subtraction to solve this mentally. The goal is to subtract an easier number or a friendlier number than 28. It would be easier for me to subtract 30. So I can change that 28 to 30. When I made that change, I added 2 to the 28. I have to make the same change to the 67. So I'm going to add 2 to the 67. And now my problem is 69 minus 30. That's a lot easier for me to do in my head because it really means I'm just subtracting 3 tens. So if I have 6 tens minus 3 tens, that leaves 3 tens and the 9 ones. So we call this same change subtraction. We change both numbers in the same way to make it easier to subtract. Now here's how we're going to use that strategy to subtract 800 minus 422. Because of the zeros in my 800, I would have to do a lot of decomposing in order to do the subtraction. But I can make the problem easier if I subtract one from each number. If I have 800 and I subtract one, that gives me 799. If I have 422 and subtract one, that gives me 421. Now I can do the subtraction without having to do any decomposing. Nine minus one is eight. 9 minus 2 is 7, and 7 minus 4 is 3. The answer to this problem is the same as the answer to 800 minus 422. We just solved it in a friendlier way. Let's do another example. The next problem is 700 minus 368. Again, I'm going to subtract 1 from each number. 700 minus 1 is 699. 368 minus 1 is 367. Now I can do the subtraction without having to decompose. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 6 is 3. And 6 minus 3 is 3. That means the answer to 700 minus 368 is also 332. And again, by using that same change subtraction, we make the problem a lot easier to solve. And we do want to encourage the students to use those efficient strategies.